Alright guys, welcome to your 25th tutorial, and in this tutorial, as promised, I told you guys we're going to be building that method switch views, so I did not lie, not this time at least, maybe I will later. So go ahead and copy this from your interface file, switch views, copy, and paste it right under view did load, and paste it right there. So now let's go ahead and build a body for it, and in case you guys forgot since the last tutorial, what this method does is it's pretty much looks at which view is currently being shown and if it's the red view it shows the blue view if it's the blue view it shows the red view simple enough so the first thing that we need to test is which view is showing so go ahead and make an if statement and if pop up those put self I'll type this in then I'll then I'll show you guys uh, then I'll explain what I'm talking about if self dot red class dot view dot super view equals nil then do something so we're saying alright we're we gonna be testing first if is this red classes view equal to nothing so if this red classes view is not being shown or it doesn't exist then this is gonna be equal to nothing so if this is the case then we want the red code to show up cuz pretty much if this red view is equal to nothing then by default it means that the blue view is already on the screen since that was the default so we're saying alright if that red view is equal to nothing then what do we want to do well instead of just go ahead and showing the red view we first need to check if we even have a red object so let's go ahead I mean like check this out if it's the first time the user presses that button we don't even have an instance of that class yet so that's where we're going to check first if self dot red class is equal to nil and again this means if it's the first time they press the button what we want to do is we want to get an instance of that class and make you know our object from it so go ahead and red class just name your object red and by the way that's this is the same thing this we that we did up here just uh, copying it for the red class instead of the blue set it equal to red class allocate some space in it with nib name and the nib name for this is I name mine red window and for the bundle go ahead and press nil don't even worry what that means too confusing and for now let's just go ahead and put self dot red class and set this equal to red so what we're doing is we have this property already in our switch class that we automatically built called red class and we're just setting it equal to this so pretty much self dot red class and the red object one and the same really easy so now once we created that object we don't need it anymore red release pretty simple so now of course once we created our object let me make sure I'm in the right one once we created our object what we need to do is actually show it on the screen so in order to show it on the screen we first need to take that blue view and remove it from the screen so blue what's it let me think of what's name blue class dot view and the method to remove a view from the screen is I shouldn't click that remove from super view and that's all you need to put so it says alright I'm gonna remove some view from the screen what one the blue view and now once that's removed we of course need to add to a red view to red view we need to add the red view so self dot view and that's the current view insert sub view come on view there we go red class dot view that's the red class's view I bet you guys can't figure that out at index zero so it appears behind the tab bar so we said alright so that's simple enough then we run no 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 so this is pretty much checks if the r blue view is on the screen add the red view and now we need to make the exact same thing backwards else if the red view is on the screen then add the blue view boo view add the blue view there we go so let's go ahead and if self dot blue class is equal to two equal signs nil if it's equal to nil then go ahead and by the way if you're saying alright we already created an object then why do we have to create it again well 
usually you wouldn't have to but just in case your object gets flushed from memory you want to create it again just to make sure you have it and this happens sometimes if you have a huge project um, sometimes your iPod is going to delete memory automatically to make room for new stuff so anyways just go ahead and create your new object again so blue plus we'll get practice in creating objects how cool is that uh, name your object blue again it can be the same as before and of course this is going to be an object from the blue class allocate some space for it and you know that in it with nib name tab and of course the nib name is blue window dot xib but don't include the xib and bundle set this equal to nil but put that outside just like that and now we need to do is set the the property for this class blue class set it equal to the object that we just created in the last line and now once we're done with that object go ahead and put blue release alright pretty simple so now after we're done with this else after that in the else statement but outside the if statement what we need to do is remove that red class so red class dot view remove from super view looks good so we took the red out of there now let's put the blue in self dot view insert sub view looks good blue whoa, whoa, whoa. insert sub view blue class dot the view property from it and at index zero and why did that not pop up did I mess something up insert sub view blue class dot view I mean everything looks fine things weren't popping up though so anyways um I guess we have time to go ahead and finish this class um the only thing we have to do is have two more little things dealing with memory in your did not receive memory warning put if self dot blue class dot view dot super view looks good is equal to null so if that's equal to nothing then go ahead and take self dot blue class and set this equal to nothing free up some memory and else it must be the red one so let's go ahead and we really didn't need those uh, curly braces but if self dot red class set this equal to nil and this pretty much uh, just frees up some memory like I said before and of course when we are done with everything all of our objects since we allocated it we need to make sure that we release them so red class actually we didn't allocate these we retained them but same thing you know it doesn't matter and blue class release and that is all we need to do so these last two things I typed in were just for uh, handling memory I mean I guess technically you don't even really need them but it's really poor program practice if you don't so that is pretty much what we did pretty much made a bunch of different objects and switched them out as appropriately needed and I probably have a bunch of errors in this but when we build it I'll uh, find them all and correct them but for now I mean it looks pretty good right now so uh, that's all I have for you guys for this tutorial and the next tutorial I'm not even going to tell you guys not even going to give you guys a hint about what I'm doing you guys are going to have to stay tuned and see so anyways thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys later